You all love to watch Agnes get high at the nail salon, so here we go. I may need to break this up into multiple videos, but I'm gonna be answering a lot of the most common questions that I get on Agnes's nail cutting videos where I have to give her gabapentin. So first, you'll see that I put the gabapentin into a chuvru and then I just kind of squirt the chuvru in the full capsule. She'll eat really quickly. I just showed you all of my things on my sort of wish list of what I wanted to get done. I didn't get to all of them. And because she gets a little loopy, I have to cover up all of her jungle gym um, entrances throughout my house and she has four entrances. So I put blankets on those, that way she doesn't climb up and then accidentally fall off. You can see it's starting to kind of hit it, kick in here. Some people asked how they can get this medication. It comes directly from your vet. My vet had recommended it to me because Agnes bites and she bit the vet a few times to the point where they were bleeding and she tends to bite me a lot. And when I try to cut her nails without giving her gabapentin, she will absolutely tear apart my nails. I mean, excuse me, tear apart my arms because she loves to bite, bite. Here you can see she's biting, so she's not ready. With this medication, gabapentin, some people asked what the dose was. I don't feel comfortable telling what exact dose I give Agnes. Your vet will tell you what dose to give you. It's gonna be what they prescribe. It's based on, I've heard their spiciness level and their weight. Here, she's a little bit more relaxed, just calming down. Before giving this medication to your cat, I have been told to wait at least two hours from their last meal, and I think that that helps too. If they have an empty stomach, the medication tends to work better. I'm showing you her, her nails here. They're really sharp, and you can see she's still not ready. So after I give the medication, it usually takes an hour to an hour and a half until she's nice and relaxed and ready for me to cut her nails. I do this about once every month and a half, and I call it her sedated spa nights. I give her the gabapentin and then I cut her nails. I do grooming. Sometimes I'll do, oh, I do her flea and tick medication, and sometimes I'll try to brush her teeth as well. Here you can see it's really still not ready. She was still kicking a little. Oh, I guess I was able to do a few nails. And sometimes I'll be able to do a few nails, I'll step away, I'll come back, I'll do a few more. It all depends on how relaxed she is and really how well the medication is working. Other questions I got was asking that if this medication hurts Agnes. Based on what my vet had told me, she just kind of feels pleasantly high and Based on how I know her and I know her reactions, it does seem like she's just kind of pleasantly a little bit out of it when we do this. And then usually she'll eat a large meal right after I'm done cutting her nails. And then right after the meal, it seems like she's kind of back to her regular self. She'll usually sleep really well that night, but then in the morning, yeah, she's totally fine. I found that the medication is at its sort of peak for maybe 15 to 30 minutes, and then it starts to wear off. Here, she looks nice and relaxed, so um, I'm just testing here, doing a little boop boop, a little deet deet, and she seems relaxed. Oh, and there you can see one of um, my bites there on my arm, and I continue to cut her nails. I also received a lot of questions about how to know how to cut cat's nails. A lot of people in the comments said that they just always bring their cat into the vet to get them cut. I would recommend watching some YouTube videos and when you're touching their paws, you'll be able to see that pinkish part that you do not want to cut past. And then last time I was at the vet, I actually talked to the vet tech about how far I could cut. And she told me that I was being way too conservative and that I could cut a little bit farther back. But watch some videos and I would say always cut less than you think you need. Here the medication is definitely at its peak. She's nice and relaxed. She's not really pulling back. She's not trying to bite me. She's just calm and allowing it to happen. And all throughout this part, she is purring. She's really calm, relaxed, happy. Again, just high at the nail salon, having a great day.
Some people asked if I had tried things like CBD, herbal, calming treats. Um, other people suggested grabbing her by her neck. They also suggested having two people, um, one person holding her and the other person doing her nails. I have tried everything. I have tried absolutely everything. I live alone with Agnes. I do this all by myself. I have tried every CBD, every calming treat there is. Unfortunately, nothing really calms her down to the point that I need her to be at in order to cut her nails. Um, she used to be a stray cat. She used to live in the city of Lynn, Massachusetts, and she still has some behaviors definitely of a stray cat, and she can be very reactive and, and biting. So here I'm done with her nails and I'm giving her her flea and tick medication. I like to do this when she's sedated because then she doesn't lick. And even though I put it at the nape of her neck, if she's not sedated, she'll always be trying to lick in that area. Here, I'm giving her a nice big meal. Like I said, she tends to be very hungry after the gabapentin and she'll eat a lot. Another question I received is why cut cat's nails? Some people didn't know that that's a necessary thing to do. When you own cats, you do need to cut their nails. I've heard about from once a week to once a month. I do it about every month and a half because it's so difficult for her, but it is necessary to do. And here she is just relaxing, all done.